Twain's Mirror, reflecting on the satire that shaped America, honoring the overlooked satirists and thinkers who altered our perspectives, number 17 by Conrad Hannon. Narration provided by Amazon Polly. Preface. In the 17th installment of our ongoing series, honoring the overlooked satirists and thinkers who altered our perspectives, we turn our attention to a literary giant whose penetrating wit and unyielding scrutiny of society have left an indelible mark on American literature and beyond. This edition is dedicated to exploring the life, works, and enduring legacy of Mark Twain, a master satirist whose keen observations and sharp wit challenged the status quo and invited readers to see the world through a more critical lens. Mark Twain, born Samuel Langhorne Clemens, has long been celebrated for his contributions to American literature, most notably through characters such as Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, who have become fixtures in the American literary canon. However, beneath the surface of these well-loved tales lies a profound engagement with his time's social, political, and moral questions, an engagement that reveals Twain as a storyteller, formidable satirist, and thinker. Through his incisive wit and masterful use of satire, Twain dissected the follies and vices of society, exposing the hypocrisies and injustices beneath the genteel facade of 19th century America. This volume seeks to illuminate the depth and breadth of Twain's satirical genius, tracing his evolution from a humorist recounting the tall tales of the American frontier to a critical observer of his day's national and global issues. From his early critiques of the romanticized West to his later denunciations of imperialism and his skepticism of unchecked technological progress, Twain's work offers a rich tapestry of commentary on the human condition and the societal constructs that shape it. As we delve into Twain's legacy, we are reminded of satire's power to amuse and provoke thought, challenge preconceptions, and inspire change. In an era marked by rapid change and considerable turmoil, Twain's voice remains as relevant as ever, offering a mirror to reflect our own times and a lens through which to view them more clearly. This preface invites readers to re-examine the life and works of Mark Twain, explore the complexity of his satire, and consider how his piercing critique of society and human nature continues to resonate in the modern world. In honoring Twain as both a satirist and thinker, we pay tribute to his enduring influence on our perspectives and his invaluable contributions to the art of satire and the broader discourse on morality, ethics, and the pursuit of truth. Introduction Embarking on an exploration of Mark Twain's influence as a satirist invites us to traverse the nuanced terrains of his literary career, from the humorous tales of frontier life to the piercing critiques of social injustices and imperialist ventures. This journey through Twain's body of work reveals a complex tapestry of narratives, each offering a unique lens through which to view the American experience. Twain's career is not merely a chronicle of his times, but a critical engagement with the social, political, and moral questions that shaped the United States during the latter half of the 19th century and the early 20th century. Twain's early works, imbued with the spirit of adventure and the idiosyncrasies of life along the Mississippi River, reflect a fascination with the American frontier. While often humorous and light-hearted, these stories subtly probe society's virtues and vices, exposing the folly and hypocrisy beneath the surface of American optimism and expansionism. Twain's keen observation and wit render these tales much more than simple narratives of adventure. They are a satirical lens on the complexities and contradictions of American identity. As Twain's literary voice matured, so did his satire's depth and sharpness. Moving beyond the escapades of young boys and frontier adventurers, Twain delved into more direct critiques of his society's social injustices. His masterpiece, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, is a poignant commentary on the antebellum South's racial prejudices and moral hypocrisies. Through the eyes of Huck and Jim, Twain confronts the reader with the inhumanity of slavery and the moral corruption it engenders in society challenging the very foundations of American values. In his later years, Twain's satire took on a more global perspective, reflecting his growing disillusionment with the American project and its imperialist tendencies. His essays and lectures from this period are scathing indictments of the injustices committed in the name of civilization and progress. Twain's anti-imperialist writings, such as To the Person Sitting in Darkness, 
critique the paternalistic attitudes of Western powers and their devastating impact on colonized peoples, revealing a deep empathy for the oppressed and a profound skepticism of the motives and methods of empire. Throughout his career, Twain's commitment to truth through satire remained unwavering. His work, characterized by a unique blend of humor, irony, and moral seriousness, invites readers to reflect on the absurdities and injustices of their world. Twain's legacy as a satirist lies in his ability to expose the follies of human nature and society, challenging us to confront uncomfortable truths about ourselves and our communities. In traversing the varied landscapes of Twain's literary career, we are reminded of the enduring power of satire to illuminate the darkest corners of the human condition, inspiring change and fostering a deeper understanding of the complexities of the American narrative, frontier humor and the American experience. Twain's literary journey began with the raucous tales of life along the Mississippi, where he immortalized the vibrant, lawless, and often absurd world of the American frontier. In works like Roughing It and the celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County, Twain's sharp wit and keen observation of human eccentricities laid the groundwork for his satirical voice. These early writings not only provided entertainment, but also subtly questioned the myths of American exceptionalism and the romanticization of the West. In delving into frontier humor, Twain tapped into a rich vein of American folklore and humor, showcasing a world where the rugged landscape and the equally rugged individuals who inhabited it became the symbols of American freedom and determination. Yet, beneath the surface of these entertaining narratives lay a critical examination of the values and ideals that Americans held dear. Twain's portrayal of the frontier was not merely an ode to the pioneering spirit, it was a mirror reflecting the absurdities, injustices, and contradictions of American society. The celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County is a microcosm of Twain's approach to satire. On one level, it is a humorous tale of a gambling match involving a frog, but on another, it critiques human gullibility and the propensity to deceive and be deceived. Like many of Twain's early works, this story reveals his ability to weave social commentary into the fabric of comedy, inviting readers to laugh while prompting them to reflect on deeper societal issues. Roughing It offers a more expansive view of the American West, blending personal anecdotes with tall tales and social observations. Through this semi-autobiographical account of his adventures in the Nevada Territory, Twain peels back the layers of the mythologized West to reveal the harsh realities of frontier life, including the impact of the gold rush, the treatment of Native Americans, and the often unscrupulous behavior of those seeking wealth and fame. Twain's satirical lens highlights the disparity between the idealized vision of the West and the gritty truth of its exploitation and moral ambiguity. These early forays into frontier humor established Twain as a keen observer of the American scene, adept at capturing the voice and ethos of a nation in transition. His ability to blend humor with critique allowed him to engage with a wide audience, using laughter to provoke thought and challenge prevailing narratives of American identity and destiny. Through his unique blend of comedy and satire, Twain carved out a niche that would define his literary legacy making him not just a chronicler of the American experience, but also one of its most incisive critics, social critiques and the moral compass. As Mark Twain's voice as a satirist matured, his literary explorations delved deeper into the heart of American society's darkness. It's within the pages of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn that Twain's capacity for social critique fully blossoms, presenting not just a story of youthful adventure, but a trenchant dissection of racism, societal norms, and the ethical bankruptcies of civilization. Huck Finn's voyage down the Mississippi River emerges as a powerful narrative vehicle, one that Twain employs with masterful precision to peel back the layers of societal hypocrisy. In this seminal work, Twain leverages Huck's innocence and the complexity of his relationship with Jim, a runaway slave, to challenge the moral compass of pre-Civil War America. The raft's journey becomes a metaphor for American identity's turbulent, often contradictory currents, exploring themes of freedom, friendship, and the corrupting influence of societal prejudice. Huck's internal struggles and moral dilemmas, particularly his growing awareness of Jim's humanity in contrast to the dehumanizing laws and customs of slavery, serve as a critical commentary on society's moral failings. 
Twain's use of satire in Huckleberry Finn is multifaceted, employing irony, understatement, and exaggeration to expose the absurdities of racism and the grotesque nature of entrenched social norms. His portrayal of various characters Huck and Jim encounter along their journey, from feuding families to scam artists masquerading as nobility, underscores society's pervasive hypocrisy and moral decay. These encounters, while often humorous, reveal Twain's deep cynicism about the capacity of society to uphold genuine moral and ethical values. By embedding his critique in a narrative that is both accessible and engaging, Twain invites readers to reflect on their own societal and moral frameworks. Huckleberry Finn challenges the reader to question the veracity of societal norms and the morality of laws that uphold inequality and injustice. Through Huck's evolution from a boy who uncritically accepts the values of his society to one who questions and ultimately rejects those values, Twain advocates for a form of moral reasoning grounded in empathy and a recognition of shared humanity. In confronting the darker aspects of American society through the lens of satire, Twain secures his place as one of the most influential American writers in positions, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, as a pivotal work in the canon of American literature. This novel, with its incisive critiques and moral ponderings, continues to resonate with readers, reflecting Twain's enduring legacy as a satirist who dared to hold a mirror up to America, revealing the nation's virtues and vices with equal clarity. Technological Skepticism and the Human Condition Mark Twain's engagement with the themes of technology and progress underscores a nuanced understanding of the double-edged sword of industrial advancement. His work, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, is a prime example of this perspective, wherein Twain uses the fantastical element of time travel to explore a deeper exploration of technological skepticism intertwined with concerns about the human condition. Through the protagonist, Hank Morgan, Twain crafts a narrative that both marvels at and questions the relentless march of progress, highlighting the ethical and moral considerations that often lag behind. Set against the backdrop of Arthurian England, a period romanticized for its chivalry and moral clarity, Hank's introduction of 19th century technologies and ideas catalyzes societal transformation. However, this transformation is not unequivocally positive. Twain leverages this juxtaposition to critique the blind faith in progress, suggesting that technological advancements can exacerbate humanity's inherent flaws in the absence of corresponding ethical evolution. The novel humorously yet poignantly addresses the consequences of imposing modern technology on a society ill-prepared to handle its implications, resulting in comedic mishaps and tragic misunderstandings. Through Hank's efforts to modernize Camelot, Twain delves into the heart of the Industrial Revolution's impact on society, questioning whether technological progress truly equates to human betterment. While initially seen as miraculous, Hank's inventions and reforms eventually lead to unforeseen consequences, including warfare that becomes more deadly with the introduction of modern weapons and tactics. Twain's satire thus extends beyond mere historical commentary, engaging with broader themes of power, ethics, and the potential for technology to dehumanize and destroy. A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court represents Twain's skepticism towards a deterministic view of history where technological and industrial progress inevitably leads to social and moral advancement. Instead, he posits that without a conscientious application of moral and ethical principles, such progress might magnify humanity's propensity for folly, greed, and destruction. The novel serves as a cautionary tale reminding readers of the need for a balanced approach to innovation that considers the human implications and ethical dimensions of technological advancement. In crafting this narrative, Twain critiques his own era's infatuation with progress and offers timeless insights into the relationship between technology, society, and the moral imperatives that must guide human endeavors. His skeptical view of technology, coupled with a deep understanding of the human condition, positions Twain as a critical voice in the discourse on progress, challenging future generations to reflect on the ethical considerations that technological advancements demand. Anti-imperialism and global critiques In the twilight of his career, Mark Twain's literary focus shifted towards a critical examination of American foreign policy and the burgeoning trend of imperialism, signaling a departure from the predominantly domestic themes that characterized his earlier works. 
This period of Twain's life saw him adopt a vocally anti-imperialist stance, a position that was both bold and contentious, given the prevailing attitudes of American society at the time. Through essays, speeches, and satirical works like To the Person Sitting in Darkness and The United States of Lynchardom, Twain unleashed a fervent critique of the United States' moral posturing on the global stage and the hypocrisy of its imperial ambitions. To the Person Sitting in Darkness is particularly emblematic of Twain's disillusionment with American imperialism. In this essay, Twain adopts the perspective of the colonized, the person sitting in darkness, to whom the Western powers, including the United States, purport to bring the light of civilization and democracy. However, Twain exposes this narrative as a facade for economic exploitation, cultural destruction, and violent subjugation. His use of irony and satire serves to critique the actions of imperial powers and challenge the underlying assumptions of cultural superiority and moral righteousness that justified such actions. Similarly, the United States of Lynchardom confronts the domestic roots of the imperial mindset, linking the violence and racism prevalent within the United States to its external behavior as an imperial power. Twain's critique extends beyond foreign policy, implicating the broader American psyche and its complicity in perpetuating injustice at home and abroad. Through this work, Twain articulates a profound skepticism that a nation capable of such internal brutality could genuinely aspire to be a force for good in the world. Twain's anti-imperialist writings characterize a deep sense of betrayal and disillusionment with the trajectory of the United States. His critique is not that of an outsider looking in, but of a patriot disillusioned by his country's failure to live up to its ideals. Therefore, Twain's satirical attacks on imperialism condemn specific policies and actions and mourn the loss of moral direction. By positioning himself against imperialist fervor, Twain emerged as a prescient critic of global politics, anticipating the critiques of Western imperialism that would gain prominence in the 20th and 21st centuries. His anti-imperialist works serve as a testament to his enduring commitment to justice and his willingness to challenge the prevailing narratives of his time. Marked by this vehement opposition to imperialism, Twain's later years underscore his evolution from a celebrated humorist to a critical observer of American and global politics. Through his biting satire and moral outrage, Twain laid bare the contradictions and injustices of an imperialist agenda masquerading under the guise of civilization and progress. In doing so, he solidified his legacy as not only one of America's greatest literary figures, but also as a courageous voice for ethical conduct in international affairs, advocating for a world where empathy and justice, rather than power and greed, guide the actions of nations. Legacy and Relevance in the Modern World Mark Twain's legacy as a satirist endures not merely through the widespread acclaim of his literary works, but through the timeless relevance of his insights into the human condition and society. His unique ability to strip away societal pretenses and expose underlying truths allows his work to transcend the era in which it was written, speaking to the core of what it means to be human. Twain's satirical lens, sharp and unyielding, offers a critical perspective on the moral complexities and ethical dilemmas that continue to challenge society today. In our contemporary world, marked by rapid technological advances and significant social upheaval, Twain's cautious approach to progress and his critiques of social injustice resonate with renewed urgency. The questions he raises about the implications of unchecked technological advancement, the perils of imperialistic endeavors, and the persistent undercurrents of racial and social inequality remain as pertinent as ever. Twain's work serves as a crucial reminder of the need for ethical consideration and moral integrity in the face of progress and power. Moreover, Twain's mastery of satire as a tool for social critique underscores the enduring power of humor to affect change. Through his example, we see that satire can do more than entertain. It can challenge, enlighten, and provoke reflection, encouraging readers to question accepted norms and contemplate the broader implications of their beliefs and actions. In this way, Twain's legacy speaks to the potential for literature to influence society, fostering a critical consciousness among readers. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, Twain's writings offer a mirror reflecting our societal follies, prejudices, and pretensions. 
His ability to combine humor with profound social and ethical commentary provides a blueprint for engaging with the world critically and compassionately. Twain's legacy, therefore, is not confined to the pages of his books, but lives on in the ways we confront and address the moral challenges of our own times. Through the varied quilt of his satirical work, Twain's biography unfolds as a narrative of a writer who utilized humor not only for pleasure, but to critically examine and challenge the world. This multifaceted legacy continues to inspire and provoke thought, cementing Twain's status as one of the paramount moral satirists in American literature. His enduring relevance underscores the transformative power of literature and satire, reminding us of the capacity for words to inspire change, provoke reflection, and illuminate human nature's and society's complexities. Thanks for stopping by, and until next time, stay gruntled.